Things that have sentimental value. Who would have thought? A big giant lock. Hey guys, next day, find myself uh, seeking out shady spots and parking lots, even if I have to walk an extra block. That way I know when I come back to the van, it's going to be nice and cool, ready for me to sit in the chair, kick back my feet, and lounge. So, uh, yeah, this morning I'm going to go to uh, Starbucks, just drop Tiffany off at her car. It's kind of our normal, normal routine. We're kind of... Uh, doing the best we can. She lives really far away, you know, in Brentwood, which is like across the bay. And it would take an hour and a half to drive to my house. So she's been coming out, uh, coming to my place after work. And that's been working well. And then she just drives to work. So she's got a huge overnight bag at my place. I love it. I love her staying with me. It's, 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 it's nice company. So, uh, but these days I need to focus on um, getting the move underway. And uh, today, I'll try to focus on uh, emptying the storage, or loading the storage up with all the stuff from the RV. But first, I need my fuel, so that's why I go here to Starbucks pretty much every morning. So I'm going to go get some Starbucks. Hey guys, I'm using the van for something it really excels at. That's moving stuff. Cargo. Cargo van, in use, for what it's made for. So, uh, yeah, emptying my shed right now. And, you know, the, the longer I hold on to this stuff, the things that I thought that I couldn't get rid of before are now losing their sentimental value <laughs> with each move. You know, it's just so many times that you can say, like, oh, you know, I don't need it right now, but in the future I might need it. And it collects dust and gets wet and, you know, and just goes bad over time. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, I'm to the point now where I'm feeling like, man, half of this stuff I just want to get rid of. So, um, I don't really have time to, like, go through everything one by one and decide, reevaluate all my possessions. But I know that I'm moving in a direction of slowly windling down further, um, all of my possessions. And I, it's time to do that again, it looks like. So when I get back and, uh, move out into an apartment... That's something that I'll do. I just don't have time for that right now. Matter of fact, my storage unit closes in 30 minutes, so I need to go. Here it goes, guys. Man, the lighting in this uh, camera doesn't pick up low light very well, but this is uh, my first load. I'm on the second floor of this uh, storage facility, so I have to use this uh, lift to uh, lift my stuff up. First load. I'm using this thing is really beefy. Uh, this thing has got some history to it. Uh, sentimental value, you could say for me. I used this uh, in my high in, when I was in high school. We're talking 1997 here, and um, I remember um, I put this Plex rubber coating on there because I used this um, to lock down my stereo system. I had a boom box in the back, and uh, I would use this to lock it in place. And I used the the plus What's that stuff, that plastic spray? I used that because uh, it was rattling around. The metal was hitting each other and making noise, so I sprayed this on there. Anyway, yeah, things that have sentimental value. Who would have thought? A big giant lock. Alright, load one, all done, guys.